Hi, second graders. For your Eureka Fluency practice today, we're going to practice subtraction with renaming. We're going to use a chip model method. So for this lesson, you will need a pencil and paper um, and to go ahead and draw out your place value chart. Go ahead and pause the video while you gather your materials. Alright, now that we have our materials and our place value chart already drawn out, let's go ahead and get started. 161 minus 18. I'm going to rewrite this in vertical form. Absolutely correct. 161 minus 18. Now, I know that I am subtracting. I'm taking apart from the whole. And I know I need to record my, the, that whole in my place value chart first. Which add-in is the whole? That's right, 161. How many ones will I show? Yes, one one. How many tens will I record? Great job, six tens is correct. Count with me. One ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten, six ten. And how many hundreds are in 161? 100. Good job. Now I must subtract my part. That's right. How many ones do I have in 18? Yes, 8. So can I take 8 from 1? No, that's impossible. So I'm, I must unbundle or decompose a 10. That's right. Because 10 ones make, or 110 equals 10 ones. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And whatever I do in my chart, I must also show in my vertical form. I now have five tens and eleven ones. Now can I subtract eight ones? Yes. Let's subtract those eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many ones are left? Three ones. Don't forget, whatever you do in your place value chart, you must also show in your vertical form. Form. I now have three ones. Now, can I subtract one from five? Yes. Five minus one is four tens. I'm sorry, five tens minus one ten equals four tens. Great job, and I will show it in my vertical form. Will I subtract or need to unbundle any hundreds? No, I don't. So I can just bring that one down. One hundred. What is 161 minus 18? Great job, 143. Thank you, second graders. Can't wait to see you next time.